At four, a Gwinnett County father is jailed after police say he tried to set his house on fire and attack three of his family members. And look at this. Jaime Gomez waved to our camera as he faced a judge for the first time this morning. Channel 2's Tony Thomas is live in Lawrenceville with that unusual court appearance that had the suspect asking for a doctor. Tony. I could hear the suspect of Dave uh, moaning before he even became in the courtroom. He was wheeled in by deputies and he had bandages on his hands. He seemed more concerned throughout the court hearing about his injuries a lot more than the serious charges he faces. Uh, uh, I made Bernard Gomez grimaced in pain as the judge asked him if he knew the charges he faced. Tell me. Gomez faces 10 different charges after Gwinnett County police say while on drugs, he lit several things on fire in a bathtub at his Stone Mountain area home early Wednesday. Then, they allege, he stabbed his wife when she tried to put out the flames. Two teenage children then came to her aid, and police say Gomez stabbed them, too. Then we just saw all this commotion. What is going on? Neighbors say Gomez fled the home and damaged a nearby car. Officers say they had to tase him before they could get him into custody. You know, he was on the ground, and the man, you know, the police kept telling him to shut up, you know, come on, let's go, you know, and he kept, you know, want to talk back. This is just crazy, ridiculous. No one was home when we stopped by the Santee Street house Thursday, but the damage from the fire could be seen spread by the front door. Police say Gomez's wife and kids are still in the hospital, but will survive. Deputies say Gomez himself was treated by doctors right after the incident, then brought to jail, where he still claims he's in pain and needs help. I need to go to the doctor. I've been here for two days and nobody's taken me anywhere. And deputies say they took Gomez for more medical treatment right after that hearing. He remains jailed with no bond. Live in Gwinnett County, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News.